back at the Budweiser G.I. Joe's 200 with 21 laps now complete. You ride on board with Hiro Matsushita, the number 10 car. As he works his way, he is now running up near the front of the field, though the field has come around to pass him. But Allenser Jr. was set up just behind him just moments ago. And now he has an opportunity to learn a great deal. There comes Allenser Jr. past, and Hero wisely kept a little wide going into the corner, gave him some breath. Look at this. This is looking down at the pedals in Hero's car. So if we watch this, you can get an idea of exactly what they do. Of course, the right foot sits on the throttle. That's the brake there in the center and the clutch over on the left. That's right. Now he's on the brake for the chicane. Look at him flick across onto that throttle. What he's doing is he's bringing the engine revs up as he down changes the gears. Back on the brakes, flicks across, changes gear, back on the power again. So it gives you an idea just how much work and how much footwork or dancing there is on the pedals to drive these race cars. We'll watch Matsushita as he works away around the track as well as watch the pedals. Now what you may notice is not a great deal of movement over on the clutch pedal. Well, that's right. A lot of drivers do not use the clutch pedal up changing, but most of them use it when they down change. And I can't say I see, well, I see very, yeah, a little bit of movement on the left foot, but really he doesn't use it very much on the up change. And it's not necessary. The gearbox is designed to handle that. Well, they are. They're what they call straight cut gears. So you can actually, with momentum, engage the gears with very quick movements with your hand. As we watch Matsushita, Bobby Rahal has finally had repairs effected to his car and moves back into the fight. That's Rick Mears. 